Many of our parents in this community might have had bad experiences of, of school, primary and secondary. We've, over the years, sort of dispelled that through the way that we have conversations with our community and the way that we phrase things, giving them a bit of control, letting go a little bit with the community and the parents, and then they find the solutions to their own problems. They're a lot happier with that. James is quite happy. He understands that I, I think I have enough knowledge to make sure I'm making sure they get the best out of their forest school time, it's making sure there are cross-curricular links with the school. We use restorative approach all the time. If something's going on, we get them together. What we would do to make it better. A child who uh, was in our class a few years ago, he actually said he fixed his family by using the restorative approach. You can't just go ahead and say something because you do have to think of what other people's perspective. It's the kids here are completely different and they're just nice. And I think that is basically down to the school because they teach that sort of ethic of we all look after each other, we're all a community. Well, it's empowered the staff to actually go out and, and find these things out for themselves and bring in best practices so that, you know, we've got the books now being the best teacher I can be. Every so often in the curriculum meetings, those books are actually shown so we can actually sort of see the development and what's going on. And you can sort of see sort of like the ethos and everything else building up, starting at a very young age in the nursery, all the way to year six. When we're playing, we're also learning something. So when we're learning, it's really fun. It should be enjoyment. You should come, enjoy yourself, and not realise you're learning. They know how far to push themselves, and they can freely learn that outside to then take somewhere else and understand their own level. It's about them knowing themselves. We go through every single child in school, not just the special needs children, just to make sure that no one's missed out. It'd be mainly talking to the class teacher, and then it's trying to give that child what their individual needs are. We always try to make reasonable adaptations or changes to support every individual child. I sometimes go in this rocking chair so that I can knock off and everything. Sometimes go in that room and like do some pottery and clay sometimes. And it's said quiet around here. And this log is for um, Miss Gibbons to remember her. She was a nice little lady and she gave me lots of work to do. For over the three years that I've actually done this job, it's evolved into attending safeguarding meetings, looked after children meetings, and to see if there's anything missing. And if we can fill it, we will. Very much a two-way relationship, very much a partnership of figuring things out and seeing what works and sort of getting those those things in place for the children. I think Dow Park was very much the most sort of welcoming, the most open to having the conversations around what support would be needed. We try to foster a positive relationship and encourage kindness between both the children, the families and the teaching staff. You have to address tiny little things, otherwise they, they grow into big things. And like I say, fairness is, I think at this school, everyone's very, very fair.